Joe Glanton was sentenced to nine months in a military prison for refusing to fight in Afghanistan. He served four and a half months and was released last week. But he's here tonight to deliver a message that his time in jail was worth it and he remained steadfastly against the war in Afghanistan. Glanton, the first serving British soldier to speak out publicly against the war in Afghanistan, entered an anti-war rally to a standing ovation. This was his first public appearance after his incarceration in a military jail for going absent without authorised leave. To have resisted and to continue to resist is certainly the most empowering experience I've, I've known in my life. Um, and it's split between every emotion you can imagine um, and it's been terrifying and other times it's been almost therapeutic to be uh, up against the state. In July 2009, Glenton delivered a letter to then Prime Minister Gordon Brown, saying the British were illegitimate invaders and occupiers in Afghanistan. He said the occupation was antagonizing the entire Muslim world. Eight months later, a military court imprisoned him. The judge said he'd let down his comrades at a time when the army was under pressure because of its foreign commitments. The reasons I was there were, were right, and I'd, I'd do it again quite happily. Yeah, so you think, you think it was worth it? Absolutely. I feel, I feel uh, that they've lent me a lot of credibility by locking me up, to be honest. And w were you treated well? Was there any kind of discrimination against you? Uh, er early on, occasionally, but not from, the, not from the, the guys around me, not from the fellow prisoners. They were really, really supportive from the start. And I got so, so much mail. I was getting 200 letters a day at, at one point, so it, was, um, it made the time go quicker. With a new Cameron administration coming in, do you think the tide's turning against this war? Um, I think it is in terms of public support, but I don't think the five-year... Uh, schedule for withdrawal is realistic. It has to be a lot sooner than that because the, the people are going to demand it. Glanton's public appearance came on the same day that the WikiLeaks website released CIA documents detailing the killings of Afghan civilians unreported till now. And speakers told the central London anti war audience that these revelations proved the war is unwinnable. The fact that uh, uh, British and American forces have been killing or capturing civilians without any trial. The use of these missiles that come from Nevada, I think that it will enter into the public debate about the war and greatly strengthen those who are opposed to the war. The British government says it laments the leak of the documents, which also allegedly reveal cases of Afghan civilians killed by UK troops. The Ministry of Defence said it had been unable to verify the claims and it would not speculate on specific cases. Roshan Mohamed Saleh, Press TV, London.